Hi guys, it's Joseph here and in this video I'll be, I'll be providing a step-by-step -step tutorial slash guide on how to download what you need and set up and make the wallpaper I've showcased um, in my Persona 5 Royal Joker visualizer video. And um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I said in that description of the video that if, the, if that video got enough likes, attention, and requests to do so, then I would um, provide one and here I am delivering in this video. So again, I just want to thank you guys for uh, the support and for all the attention it's received. And um, with that, let us begin this tutorial. So first things first, you're going to need a wallpaper engine. And I have two options for you guys to pick and choose from. Um, the first option is a wallpaper engine from Steam. You just search it up in Steam and it will be there, wallpaper engine. It's $3.99 and it's very inexpensive. Um, and again, the price may vary according to your region. Um, just pay that price, download it, and set it up. And once, you, and once you have it set up, go to the workshop tab, search up Persona 5 Joker, and you're gonna download. You're gonna want to download the one by Stylegasm. And this is the same exact same um, PS4 theme as you see. Um, and if you have a PS4 and you have the theme itself. So now, if you can't afford um, wallpaper engine and it's inconvenient for you uh, the f f the alternative which is also the free option is downloading an application called lively wallpaper it's similar to wallpaper engine the only difference is you can't download a um, workshop um, themes like the persona 5 theme in uh, the wallpaper engine so what you're gonna have to do is um, go to the link below and again I'll provide all I'll provide uh, all links in the description below you're gonna want to download the PS4 um, wallpaper theme video and you're gonna want to um, import that mp4 video or to what, whichever format you can prefer to convert it to import it to lively wallpaper then set it as your wallpaper so once you've set that um, the next thing you're gonna want to download is an application called rain meter it is your desktop um, layout and overlay customization tool I highly suggest you get the final release version if you're um, just wanting, if you're just a beginner and just want to install it for the wallpaper. However, if you're willing to get experimental with it and you want to really study it yourself, then I really recommend the beta release. So, um, and the reason why you get you should get Rain Meter is because it will help us with setting up our icons, our visualizer, and the rest of the Rain Meter skins. So with, um, with that, that's all the applications you need to download. And now we're gonna, um, and now I'm gonna show you guys what you need to download in terms of rain meter skins and for the icons. So here's your P5R calendar skin, and um, make sure to read the description of the of this one in Deviant Art because it's providing instructions as to how to change the time name language from kanji to English since it is kanji by default. So make sure to read that. Um, and give it some time and um, make sure you follow the instructions carefully so you can change it from kanji to english next thing you're going to want to download is um, the fan site volume skin the monster cat visualizer skin the um, persona 5 system info skin and make sure to read the description of this one too because it's stating that um, when you first install it and load it the font won't look the same as pictured and in order to make it look like the same as pictured, you're going to want to download uh, the cartoonist cookie font. Again, the link will be provided in the description. You're going to want to download and install that file. And then once you have that font file installed and reload the, um, the skin, it'll have the correct font. And then the next um, skin you're going to want to download is the network and disk um, chat windows. And then the last rain meter skin you're going to want to download is for our icons. You're gonna to want to download the honey pack, the honeycomb pack um, rain meter skin, and this will um, help us with um, setting up our icons. So now, what you're gonna need in order to set custom icons is you're gonna to want to download the Persona 5 icons pack, I've, icon packs I provided. So um, this is a link to the Google Drive folder I've made, and um, I split into two packs. Pack 1 features um, almost the same icons as um, 
as you would see if you have the Android Custom Live Wallpaper Persona 5 wall uh, themes. So this reuses almost the same um, icons with some added icons for me personally. And then Icon Pack 2 is icons that are um, uh, based on desktop shortcuts themselves and applications. So this will be like Overwatch, Adobe Photoshop, PUBG, um, Rocket League, and Remote Play for example. So make sure to download both icon packs. And then um, I recommend putting all your downloaded files for this wallpaper in the same file path. And then once you've downloaded all of those, um, we can begin the setup. So of course after setting up your live wallpaper with either Lively Wallpaper or Wallpaper Engine, um, the next thing you want to do is open Rain Meter. And then after, or um, once you open Rain Meter, you're going to want to go to the file path you've set your downloads to, or wherever you set your um, and put your downloaded files. You're going to want to right click your font files, click install, say yes, let that install in a couple of seconds. And then you're going to want to double click or right click and say install with Rain Meter and do that for each individual um, rain meter skin and have your icons folder open in the file explorer so once you click refresh all after installing all the rain meter skins you'll have you'll see folders based on the names of the rain meter skins themselves so from here on out i'm going to just provide a general outline as to what i did exactly but it will be up to you guys um, as to how to edit it and customize it to your own liking but I will show you the basic um, necessities in order to um, give you guys a basic understanding of what to do. So each folder will have an any file. And for example, this is the fan site volume control. You're going to want to click um, load and then you just click and drag it and then drag it to wherever you um, prefer it to be. And you can also edit each any file. And what that does is basically you're editing the properties of the Rainmaker skin itself. So for me personally, I didn't touch it because it was fine as is already. But if you want to um, change it yourself, you can go ahead and change it. And then there are also tutorials online as how to change the width and stuff like that, which are also very straightforward and very easy. So go ahead, just look, um, do that for volume control for system. Same thing. Make sure you install the font file and you just um, load it and then it'll, it'll appear somewhere. And then you just drag and click and drag it wherever you want to be. For your P5R calendar, same thing, you just load the files. And then um, if you do want to change the name from kanji to English, you're going to want to go to the, you want, you're going to want to edit the, uh, the properties of it. You're going to want to change, um, so as you see here in the display time name, there will be a, a uh, you're going to want to change this um, variable because it will originally be here with the, um, display time name. This is the English um, uh, version. So it original it'll originally be here. You're gonna want to erase that or backspace it and paste it here or put it back into the right in front of the display time kanji. What it, what this is doing is basically saying that you're you're wanting by default the English and you're gonna want to overwrite it over the kanji. And once you have that, make sure you go um, label it after the time time settings you want to so for example from 7 to 20, uh, 7 to 11 p.m. I set the time into evening and in order and make sure you name it within the quotation marks you name you put the file name of the image itself and you can find those file names in um, the rain meter um, file the rain meter folder and file path itself so here p5r calendar the time name you just name it after the image names it themselves. And then you just click save, hit reload or refresh, and then it'll have, um, um, it'll change, it'll have changed it from English to kanji. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is the window network chat window. Um, again, there's a right and left side. For me, I chose the right side. Um, you're just gonna want to go ahead and load whatever you prefer and you don't really have to edit anything unless you want to so feel free to go ahead and customize it if you want to and for the chat window disk it would by it would um, when you first download it 
it'll only show as P5 chat window disk and there will be no disk label. For me, I've duplicated the same file twice and I've renamed it to each um, file label. And you can do that by going to your rain meter um, folder again. And um, as you see here, I'm going there and um, you just duplicate the same file and add the disk label name. And then what you're gonna wanna do is from here, you're gonna wanna open the folder and you're gonna wanna edit the disk, either right or left, any file. And in order for it to read and show how much space allocation you have left, just go under the variable section and go specifically to the disk one equals um, part and just change the label to whichever disk name you have um, you have installed. So for example, disk C is my primary. So I have disk C, disk E, and disk D. I just change it according to the, any file according to the folder I renamed the disk label to. So with that, um, on to the next one. Next thing is the visualizer skin. I'm, this is pretty self-explanatory. You just load it, and then you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to open the settings folder, load the general any folder, and this is basically your settings for um, your visualizer. So basically, you can change the scale size, and re um, the height, and whatever else you prefer. For me, I just edited it a bit, but it's pretty much close to default. So again, up to you guys to customize it as to however you want it to be. Now for this. Um, when you normally first load it, the e the time name for the calendar and the volume, it won't appear under. The visualizer won't appear under and the time name won't appear over. So if you want to do that, you're going to ha have to go to the rain meter settings itself. So click edit settings and you're going to scroll down and look for the um, visualizer and um, P5R calendar time name itself. So as you see here, the time name. You're gonna want to go under the, or you're gonna want to go. Make sure always on top of zero, which is default, and then P5R calendar. What you're gonna want to do is set that, oh, set the always on top variable from zero to negative one. Basically, by doing that, you're telling Rainmeter that the time name will, um, the time name overlay is gonna stay on top of the, the um, calendar itself. So every time it changes the time name, it'll always stay on top of the um, calendar. Basically, think of always on top as layers. So um, um, I don't recommend putting it um, past zero because if you put it to positive one or positive two, it'll also overlay over your web browser and of course you don't want that. Um, so again, this is for the visualizer, then the same thing for the, or sorry, this was for the calendar, the same thing for the visualizer. If you want to have it under the fan type volume, just change it to negative one or negative two. As you see, I've said it's a negative two, and it appears it'll always appear under the uh, volume. So once you've done that, um, the next thing and the last thing you're gonna want to um, do is uh, install, or after installing the honeycomb pack, you're gonna want to open the folder. And what I recommend doing is going to the rain meter folder and the honeycomb folder itself. And what I recommend doing is copying one file and then duplicating it based on the number of shortcuts you want to have on your desktop. So there will be a good number of um, folders already by default since that's what the pack comes with. But again, just copy a file and duplicate and rename it according to the shortcuts you want to place on your um, desktop. And then once you've done that, make sure you rename not only the folder, but the any file itself or the configuration settings file itself. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go, for example, to crunch. So let's say, for example, Crunchyroll is if it's one of your desired uh, shortcuts, you're going to want to go to edit. You're going to want to copy the file path to the Crunchyroll icon and um, make sure it's um, followed by the correct extension, whether it's PNG or, I or ICO file. In this case, it'll be a PNG. And then your left mouse up action, you can paste in either a file path to open up a launcher application or a folder, or you can also put in a link to open it by your default web browser. So for example, I've set it to open up crunchyroll.com. I open up, I click on the crunchyroll and I'll open up crunchyroll. So make sure you click save and then you um, click reload, refresh all 
or you click refresh or re refresh all whichever you prefer on the country roll part or the country roll um, file and then um, click load and then you just drag and drop from there and then if the icon is too big you can you can add W and H uh, variables with a uh, number of variables as well basically this is the width and height and then of course followed by the number for me I put 9090 for both width and height and that's my personal preference of course feel free again to customize it to your own liking now what you're going to want to do is do that for do the same thing again and just rinse and repeat from here for all the shortcuts you want to set on your um, uh, desktop and then um, the last thing I'll um, guide help you um, in this guide with is um, if you want to use the discord logo for example basically any logo that has three icons in one so what you, it, so for those for example the discord I have it set to one icon within the three icons in the image so what you're gonna want to do is open that any folder you're gonna want to edit of course set the file path for the left mouse up action or the if you want to set the link to open up the web browser in the discord or open up the discord in your default web browser and then locate the file path as well for the PNG file so in order to change it to one icon what you're gonna do is normally it would say meter equals button you're gonna want to change or sorry it would say meter equals image you're gonna want to change that to button and then and instead of image name you're gonna want to rename it to button image so for example if I name it to image and I change its image name what it would my discord um, logo would look like is this so once I hit fresh you see it will just show all three icons and of course we don't want that so again you change it to button and you're gonna want to change it to button image what that is doing is basically just saying um, there is multiple more than one logo within the image and you're basically saying to, um, to rename it to auto crop it to um, one logo only so you hit save refresh and then there's the logo so um that's it um for the that's it for this um tutorial guys i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys learned on how to create your own wallpaper and this is based on my ex experiences of studying wallpaper engine along with rain meter and um i can't wait to see you guys's um wallpaper creations and i can't wait to hear you guys' experience with it um, make sure to follow, uh, make sure to like and subscribe, and um, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Peace.